Hi, this is Kemoro. In this video, I'd like to show you how to implement the Google sign-in and Apple sign-in using the Firebase and Swift UI in your iOS app. Here is I'm showing the demo, the Google sign-in and Apple sign-in to let your user log in with this identity provider. So let's start. In the content view, I'm calling the log status from the app storage. This will divert you either to the home screen or login screen. The home screen is basically just text and button in a VStack. In this button, I'm making a log status as false. So when I click this, this the content view will direct, direct us to the login screen. So login screen is a whole bunch of this uh, button with the Apple login and also the Google login. So here is the image, the VStack, and the image, a logo, and welcome to app, this kind of title. And, and underneath, the, there's a VStack for, for sign-in button. The custom button, I'm, later I'm explaining. However, there's a two custom button separated with text or like one is sign-in with Apple and another is sign-in with Google. So basically, the custom button is got an overlay with a specific button from the library from a package this sign in with apple button and also the google sign in with google button so this is uh, they are coming from this authentication services so this is basically the built-in uh, button that you can use right here what i'm doing is just make the overlay uh, so that once you click the custom button, actually it's overlay with the, this uh, package button, so that it will direct me to the direct me to the uh, login login process. So here is like a, uh, I will explain later the login mo uh, login model, which is like a view model and dot nonce, and I get the random non string, and with this nonce I will. Uh, I'll go to the callback, uh, sign with Apple button request, uh, and switch the result uh, on completion result. I'll make the callback. And then also, uh, this custom button for the Google, I overlay with the client ID, uh, Google sign in button, and the client ID is taken from the Firebase. And this client ID is used to call the GID shared instance sign in. And once I get the user, and I will put them in the log Google user, login uh, view model in user. So let this handle the, log, uh, the rest of the Google login. So here is a frame and padding, and then also I'm showing the alert. But here is like a view builder custom button. So if I'm having the is Google Boolean, so just uh, changing the image and the character that I'm showing inside of the custom button based on the is Google uh, property. So foreground color, padding, background to make uh, background rec around the rectangle to make it look a little bit nicer. So let's go to the login view model to see what is inside here. So here, uh, login view model is the observable object uh, with some published variables, published state properties, uh, show success, show error, and success message and error message. And then app log status uh, from the app storage and a token and login name. So I'm passing the username to the login name so that all of you can access via the app storage. But this is handling error. If there is the error message, then I am uh, show error to be true. And the Apple sign in API. So this kind of thing, you can just copy and paste. This is kind of template, you, you would say. However, these are coming from uh, authentication services as well. Authentication service authorization app ID credential uh, is taken in the property uh, argument and get the token string 
and do the uh, OAuth provider the credential and just to tell the apple.com is our identification provider and the row nonce is nonce. So here is a nonce used like we did like we taken from the uh, get random bytes. So here all all sign in with Firebase credential like I got here. And if the name I'm just setting the name unknown, but if display name, user dot display name exists, then I'm just uh, over overwriting that. Otherwise uh Otherwise, it's, uh, the login name is just unknown in this case. So you can do whatever you want. And here I'm making sure there is an email and the user uh, unique ID uh, taken from the credential, uh, taken from the login, Firebase login. So I'm putting the guard uh, and also the log status as true if everything goes well. So in this case, the content view uh, will direct me to the home screen once the Apple login succeeded. So let's go to the uh, log Google user. This is for the Google login. So this take the user uh, GID Google user in the property uh, in argument and do uh, there is a big do catch. Uh, get a cry ID and config and Google sign in shared instance to go configuration is a config and Garrett ID token is user ID token and access token as well. So this is also that you can just copy and paste uh, most of the time and credential Google auth provider the credential and just getting the UID and name email like we did in the Apple uh, login. Also at the end I'm turn turn the log status to be true so that uh, content view will direct me to the home screen. So here is some utility function, char256. It's a hash function basically. And so random non, non string will, will uh, basically return me the 32 uh, u in 8. So 32 bytes, the random string. This is needed uh, when the Apple sign in. So this part you can also copy and paste to just make sure that you get a random string. Uh, this random string is like here, the custom button, sign with Apple button uh, is clicked and login, login model dot nonce is random non string like this. So this is pretty much it. Just want to make sure login screen has two buttons. One is for the Apple login and another is for Google login. So here is a Firebase uh, authentication screen, the project setting. So I need to download the Google service info.pds and also go to the file and add the package, the Swift package manager to, to import the Firebase iOS SDK. So you can just in here, you can just search the Firebase iOS SDK and then just up to next major version, then you can just add a package. So in here, I'm already added, so I just skipped it. So once it's done, so you just go to the project route uh, to have the Firebase initialization code. The main entry point is in, in my case, Firebase login app. So you can find somewhere here and add this app delegate class and with the Firebase core import and also uh, 24924 UI application delegator adapter as a delegate. That's it. That's pretty much it. And let's build a project and see uh, it actually works. Ah, by the way, this is assets that I'm using for the Google logo. I'm just download it from the official website and then put it there. So Google logo, I'm just showing like this, but for Apple logo, uh, it's built in in the uh, uh, SF symbol. So you can just call the image system name Apple logo. That's it. 
So I'm gonna build a project and see how it goes. So that's it for today. This is a final build project. Google sign in and Apple sign in is implemented so that the user can easily log in in your application using this uh, login pro identification provider. So this is pretty powerful. So I recommend you to add this feature in your project. So see you in the next video. Happy prototyping. Bye bye.